You wanna be a star, kid? Lights, we're doing lighting effects. My name is Silas Specht and today is our fourth episode of our Adobe Premiere Pro crawl through every single effect. Today, as you saw, we're doing lighting effects and it's gonna get bright. To put lighting effects onto your clip, you go into effects, video effects, and then adjust and you see lighting effects right there towards the bottom. Once it's on, it opens up into your effects control panel and you can add up to five different singular lights into one clip. If you want to add more than five after that, you simply just add the effect again. But for the love of God, please don't. They can be either spotlight, directional, or omni. So spotlight gives you an effect much like if you were pointing a flashlight. So you get one direction and it cones out depending on your focus. Under spotlight, you can change the light color, the center, intensity, major radius, minor radius, and the focus. So the light color allows you to choose what color is emitted from your light. Center of your light is exactly the same thing as position, but they call it center. So basically you move the left, the X coordinate, it moves left and right. The Y coordinate moves up and down. Now the major minor radius is a little more confusing. So if you were to set your light at a 90 degree angle, when you move your major radius, it's kind of stretching your light up and down. When you move your minor radius, it's kind of stretching your light left and right. Intensity basically is setting your temperature and your exposure at the same time. It's kind of a hybrid of the both. So if you were to turn your intensity up to 100% and you have a yellow light color, you're gonna have a blown out yellowish light. But if you were to set your intensity at negative 100 and you have your light color at still yellow, it's gonna be a blown out blue light. So it's really just setting your temperature of your light. You can also change the angle of your spotlight, which does simply that. So if you have a 90 degree angle, you're straight up and down. If it's a 180 angle, you're coming across the page. The last specific effect for spotlight is focus. So your focus is basically your spread of your light. So if you have a very narrow focus, your light's gonna go farther, but it's not gonna spill out as much. The next type of light you can use is directional. So directional has almost exactly the same effect controls as spotlight, except instead of major and minor radius, you have a projected radius, which acts like the exposure for directional. Directional light is basically an overcast over your entire clip. So think of it like an exposure over the entire clip that you can set the color of and the intensity and the warmth. You can't change the angle, you can't change the size, you can't really change much with directional. So if you want an overcast over literally everything you have on your clip, use directional. Otherwise you might be better off with spotlight or omni. The last type of light you can choose for this is called omni. Omni is pretty much just an orb, which is pretty cool. So what you can do with this, you can change the size of it, you can change the radius of it, you can change the intensity, warmth, everything like that except it can look like a floating orb. I'm a little excited for this. So like I said at the beginning, when we first added this effect to our clip, you can have up to five different lights at once per clip. So you can have a spotlight, an omni, another spotlight, a directional, literally however you wanna do it. Aside from affecting each individual light, you can affect overall what's going on. So you can add an ambient light and choose the color of it. So for instance, if you had a yellow spotlight, you can add a blue ambient light to kind of contrast it. After you set your ambient light color, you can change the ambient intensity, which is basically changing the exposure for this specific light. Not to be confused with the exposure of the clip, because if you go down three effects, you can change the exposure of the clip. You also can affect the surface gloss and the surface material. So these two, when I first started playing around with it, literally no idea what was happening. But then when I turned directional light on and I had the exposure up a little bit, surface gloss is basically smoothing out the image and giving it almost a glossy look, believe it or not. Surface material is kind of affecting how light is taken into the material. So overall, these both are just affecting how light is reacting to your clip. With the last few effect controls in this effect, you can get really, really creative. So starting from where it says bump layer, you can actually change how light is controlled. What this is doing is effectively taking your input that you set and changing how the light is diffused. So if you were to take an image of a brick wall, put it on channel three in your timeline, then choose your bump source for channel three, mess with your RGB alpha input to see which one affects and pulls the light out, you'll get like a texturized light. 
which is kind of really cool that you don't actually have to physically go in and mask it around and try to get shapes. You can just import an image. So essentially what this whole bump panel is trying to accomplish is allowing you to add texture to your lights. So if, you, if done right, you can take 2D light and make it look 3D. So you, if you have a table and you're having the light shine down on the table, you can texturize the light to the point where it looks like a 3D shadow without having to curve it and go in and manually do it all. So like every effect so far, we're trying to be a little creative with these. We're putting ourselves into a box, but trying to think outside the box. So for instance, with this one, if you take an Omni light, you can actually create your own lens flare instead of using a preset one. What we're doing here is we're taking two different Omni lights, making one a little smaller than the other one and offsetting them. You can change the color a little bit, get it to your custom preference, and then you can keyframe it to move across. So that pretty much wraps up this lighting effect. Right now we only have one more effect to go under video effects and adjust. So I'm really excited to be done with this series and never make another video. It's not like there's hundreds of more effects we're gonna go through after this and just spend tons of time just Also subscribe.